This is the MSB story. My name is Michaela, and this is my husband. Hey, I'm Drew. We're here to tell our story. We have uh, recently adopted a Labrador mix puppy, and we have two cats. One is a long hair, and one is a short hair. Uh, and we're just going to tell you the story of uh, our little family. Yeah, our little new family. Yeah, um, we were recently married in August of 2019. And um, we had all of our animals before then, but I guess that's like the official start. start. Yeah, that's like when you know when you start your family kind of thing. So, um, but I guess before then we had been together for four, four years. Yeah, something like that. We're really good with time and everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we've been together for four years, and uh, prior to that we lived in Denver, Colorado, and that's where we got um, Bruce and Sasha. And then, um, yeah, we moved back to our hometown of um, Rockford, Illinois, which is where we currently reside in that area. And that's when we got um, Murphy. Murphy. Yeah, Murphy, yeah. not too long before we got married. So, um, but yeah, I guess we go through um, each animal and kind of talk about it in the order that we got them. So the first one that we got was Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Brucey Bruce. He's a, he's a handful. He likes to talk. He's the most vocal cat I've ever had in uh, my life. Yeah. And um, he, he will let you know how he's feeling. He'll carry an entire conversation with you. There's so many times when Michaela and I are just sitting there maybe talking about ingredients to a dinner or whatever, and Bruce is meow, meow, meow. He's just like, okay, buddy, we get it. You want to talk with us. But that's what kind of gives him his awesome personality and uh, character. Yeah. And but we got him probably when he was about a year old, mm -hmm. roughly. Uh, we got him from, I think, Petco. Um, yeah, and he was originally from Alaska, and he was part of yep. like um, a pet store, pet uh, producing factory, or something. Not a factory, but like a puppy mill. Something kind like of, that but for, like for cats. Yeah, and it had gotten it was busted, and basically they shipped around all the different cats to different parts of the uh, country and stuff. But yeah, we were lucky enough to get him, and um, yeah, he's been a he's been a great cat. And uh, some fun things about him is uh, recently we've actually started. He's about five now, five or six years old, um, and we just started to let him go outside. Actually, um, it's his favorite thing in the world. Oh my gosh, yeah, we've been kind of building up to this for a few years with him now, um, and finally we just uh, went ahead and uh, have done it during this. Uh, you know the quarantine time we uh, we've been um, easing him outside with the leash and all that fun stuff and getting him used to it and then uh yeah for the past what three days we've been letting him outside and it's been nerve-wracking yep. but uh, oh definitely today but, is the first day he hasn't been able to go outside and let me tell you he is very upset about he's it. not happy with us i think he's currently hiding in our closet of our rooms uh, tucked away from everybody just it's thunderstorming out so i don't want him to get caught outside or anything <laughs> so um but no he seems to be really enjoying it he basically comes home for a few hours at night and then wants to go right back outside but um, but no, he's fun. We love Bruce, so. Yeah, so he was our first baby. Mm -hmm. uh, after him, I want to say maybe about a half a year to a year after we got Bruce, we got our next cat, Sasha. Uh, she is the short-haired, domestic short hair of the group, and she is very timid. You wouldn't know we had her. <laughs> she's timid, but at the same time, I think she's queen bee. Like I think she, she she's I think she secretly is manipulating Murphy and Bruce to like attack or like go not attack I shouldn't say that but like <laughs> have have a feud with each other basically. Yeah, she goads them. Uh, yeah, she, she goads them on. Yep. So yeah, she's our little. Uh, She's like she's uh, Michaela says she's so timid and so quiet. She's only meowed like a handful of times ever. Yeah, um, I've <laughs> only ever heard her meow personally once. <laughs> right, and that's only she's like really really upset basically. Um, but other than that, she doesn't meow like at all. So um, her story, yeah, we got her in, in Denver, and it was kind of interesting. You uh, were able to pick her up. Yeah, I actually saw on Facebook that one of the local shelters was. Uh, giving away animals for free. Basically, somebody in the area had um, adopted all of the animals and just said, give them away to whoever wants them for free. So uh, they And she had, had all of her shots and everything too, right? Yeah, yeah everything she had all of her for. shots and everything. Um, before we actually got her, before they picked her up, she had run across like a hot tarmac yeah. and burned all of her little uh, pads off of her feet. 
Yeah. So she was still on antibiotics when we got her, actually, right. because of that. She was a um, stray for like a year or something like that. Like She was about a year old as well when we got yeah. her. And yeah, she was a stray that entire time um, up to then. So that kind of relates to letting Bruce outside recently. We we thought also, like, yeah, let's let Sasha outside, too, you know, see if she likes to, would like to go outside. <laughs> and she she kind of meandered out, but I think the streets came rushing back to her uh, yeah. her memory there. because she, yeah. she heard one loud bang, one loud car, and right back inside. So oh, yeah. she's I think she's forever uh, an inside cat, and that's and plus, okay. You know, she's really, she's a really pretty cat. She so is. She's someone really might pretty. be a little right. Like she has a collar hesitant, and she has a chip and all that, but um, yeah, no, she's a really petite, small, pretty cat. So yeah. I'd be a little nervous for her for many reasons to go out there. So right. no, she's she's definitely content inside. There, you know, all the pictures that you're seeing of her come up. That's how she looks all the time. By the way, her face, the way that she kind of has that. <laughs> What are you talking about? Very, you know, just yes, very judgmental yes. kind of thing. That's how she looks a lot of the time. So. She she does. She looks very judgmental all the time, but she's actually the most lovable cat ever. She, she will really just is. Sit on your lap all day long, and cuddle you. Yeah, yep. Yeah, she's she's definitely the love bug of the group. So, um, but yeah, those are the two cats, and I, I do want to give an honorable mention to um, the, the rats. rats. Yeah, we don't have them anymore, and we we may get them in the future, but we have owned five four i want to say more than that six. let's see so we had ferris and luna mm -hmm. and then we had crispy yep and we had blue yep we had raven so i think six I but, think we're missing one. Caramel. And caramel, yes. yes. So those are all the names of our uh, rats that we used to own. And for those of you who've never owned rats or heard of that, you're probably like, ew, gross rats. But they're very smart. They're, they're extremely very smart. smart. Um, they're really, really clean as well, like extremely clean. Um, yeah, and yeah, if they're these... not sleeping, they're cleaning, or exactly. they're eating. Yep, so yeah, we've owned um, two pairs of rats at a time um, for the last few years and only recently stopped um, owning them just because we have Murphy now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we can own rats again in the future and uh, show them off on the YouTube channel here and everything. But wanted to give a mention to our our fallen rats. They only live like for three, four years max. Yeah, the um, ones that we've we've had really bad luck with them. Um, I want to say three out of the seven that we had died of cancer. Yeah, which is very common if you get um, rats from like Petco or PetSmart because those are they were originally meant to be feeder rats. Right. So we just they're they're feeder rats, so they're not raised properly really. Um, right. But you can go to uh, ratteries and find a local rattery and get ones that will live a little bit longer, not too much longer than that, but they'll um, be better health overall. So. Um, but anyways, that leads us to our last animal, the most recent animal, the youngest one, but the biggest handful. The biggest handful. <laughs> uh, that'd be Murphy. Mr. Murphy there, yes. So Murphy, again, is our um, lab mix puppy. He's about 10 months, almost 11 months old, so just about so, a year. Let's clarify that. We think he's a lab mix puppy. Yes. We originally thought he was a lab mix puppy. Um, and we were expecting him to be, you know, kind of a little more timid, just lay on the couch while we, you know, hang out all day <laughs> kind of thing. He's the complete opposite. Oh, yeah. No, we uh, we are finding out that he's probably a German short-haired pointer uh, lab mix, more on the German short-haired pointer end of things. Because, yeah, like Michaela was saying, he is ridiculously hyper. So <laughs> we've had to really, um, you know, cater our lifestyle to uh, to him, which is fine. Um, but, yeah, it was just a kind of a shock, you know, when you're trying to buy one dog and then it turns out to be another kind of dog altogether kind of thing. So. Yeah, so it's been a learning curve. But right. we're getting there. Yep, yep, and he's he's adorable. As, again, as you can see from the pictures and everything, from him being a puppy to recently, um, his eyes are a huge selling point uh, beautiful for him. Beautiful, yeah. eyes. Yes, exactly. So beautiful eyes, ridiculously smart as well. Um, if and he could, stubborn. And yeah, well, that's the they both tie in together. He's so smart that he um, knows how to try and manipulate mom and dad, basically. So, um, but yeah, like I said, he's almost a year, just about a year old, and he can do a lot of basic commands. Um, his listening is getting better. Better, but uh, we're still having to work with him on, you know, not jumping and not using his mouth to say hi so much. He's uh, he doesn't bite necessarily. He just kind of uh, nibbles and likes to say he, hi that way. Yeah, he likes to play bite. He, right. It won't hurt. It won't break the skin, but he'll still put your hand in his mouth. Yeah. Yep. And he's just he's very playful in that manner. So we just got to kind of redirect his playfulness into a more positive uh, light for everyone because it's uh, it's a little hard to bring him around people and other dogs and everything. He he just goes from zero to a million miles an hour when he sees other dogs and people and wants to jump on them and lick them and hang out with them so we got to get boundaries in place and he's our first dog directly we've both had dogs previously back when we were children um, but this is our first dog that we have 
on our own, um, yep. trained, and so it's it's a bit of a learning curve. We're trying we're trying to, uh, I, how do I put this? Feel the water, as you say. Yeah, yeah. No, we're uh, we're learning uh, through experience, kind of thing, and we've gone to different trainers and all that fun stuff. So he'll get it. He's getting it. He's got that puppy energy and then German short hair energy. So he's just full of sprinting energy. In the area that we live in, we unfortunately don't have a yard, but pretty much at all, um, and we have very close neighbors, kind of thing. So until we can move into a proper house with a big old yard and everything, um, he doesn't have much area to run around in unless we go on a walk. Yeah, and at, in this channel, you'll see where we uh, like to take him on his walks. We, there's a, a local playground that we like to take him to that's all fenced in and everything, and that we kind of use as our uh, quote unquote uh, backyard for him to right. run around in. Yep, so there's there, and then there's a giant forest preserve that we'll be featuring a lot on the channel as well. So, um, But yeah, overall, that's a pretty good uh, synopsis there, or overview of all of our little animals, and then uh, I guess us as well. So, um, But yeah, that's what this channel is going to be about. We're just going to kind of cover the uh, adventures of our of Mr. Murphy. He's probably going to be the main focal point is, uh, of the channel Mr. Murphy will be, but we'll also uh, feature yeah the cats there, see what they do during the day, and uh, you know kind of join us on some of our our, uh, other adventures too so that's, stay tuned yeah so that's kind of what we have going so yeah up until uh, but if you're enjoying what you see so far go ahead and hit the uh, like button helps out the channel helps out the video also subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the uh, videos that come up um, of the animals and everything what are we gonna do we're doing Monday Wednesday Friday Monday Wednesday Friday yeah we really planned this <laughs> yes. also leave a comment if you have any questions for us you know I know this is our first uh, video here but just Give a comment, ask us any questions or any concerns that you have, and yeah. we'll get back to you. Sure, yep, yeah. and then, uh, yeah, until the next video there, y'all have a good one. We'll see you then. Bye.